Excuse this conference me. will now be recorded. Don't feel shy or don't feel like I feel I might think anything. I don't think anything, okay? Because I help a lot of people and uh, even I do, uh, you know, a lot of sessions outside, people keep asking questions. I encourage people to ask questions because that will give more, you know, I feel more happy when people keep asking questions or learning more. Okay, that's more, that gives more satisfaction, okay? So that's why, uh, you know, don't hesitate. And when you are learning more and when you are improving more, I feel very happy for it, right? So now coming back to the point, I would like to talk with Python. Today, I told you yesterday also, I don't like to discuss too much of a uh, theory or too much of concept and uh, waste your time or my time. I will stick to the point and uh, whatever it is necessary, we'll target it. Whatever it is unnecessary, we don't take it so that uh, we make it uh, no nonsense kind of learning. Okay. So that you, you learn more in shorter times, but in a right way, not like, you know, we, we skip anything, but with a proper strategy, okay? Got it right? So finally point is, uh, what is that? You have to be little free with me. Feel free. Don't feel like a teacher. Feel like a friend or feel like a brother or a family. Okay? And uh, ask and interrupt me whenever you have questions. And I also keep asking more questions today because that is what we need now. Coming back to the Python. Yesterday we have just a quick idea. What is that quick idea is uh, okay uh, about like you know what is Python and uh, the importance of Python, the difference between um, what is that uh, compiler and interpreter. Okay, I'll ask quick questions. Let me see how far you remember those topics. Okay, shall I? So, what kind of language is Python, guys? Those who missed it, you don't need to worry about it. I will share video today itself, okay, so that you can get a quick idea about it. And you didn't miss anything. Whatever I discussed today, that is enough to get, uh, to catch up with Python. So whatever I have discussed is not something really a matter to continue this session. Uh, but still, you can have that, you can have a look, a look into that uh, after this session, okay. I'll share that links. <clears throat> so, Right, uh, I'll take a simple uh, notepad for all of you. The first thing is, when you talk about Python, I, I will just uh, explain features of Python today and then we'll get into the language fundamentals, okay? What, what, why, why Python is so popular? I will give some very important things about Python, observations like, you know, why uh, you know what features make python so powerful and uh, you know why it is so choose language uh, why it is a sought after language uh, in the industry or throughout the world okay why many areas are preferring to use python okay, we'll talk about that one thing is the first thing is that uh, it is object oriented programming and interpreted okay language that is one thing so I had explained this thing in the yesterday's session. Object oriented means I didn't explain it in uh, in depth. I just have a, given a, a quick idea about that. Like OOP in sense, it, it has certain features like you know object class. What is that? It has something like object class encapsulation, abstraction. Okay, inheritance and message uh, polymorphism. These are the very core fundamentals of uh, uh, our core features of Python or OOP instead of Python. These are there for any object oriented programming language. It's not just uh, limited to Python. Uh, they are there for Java or they are there for uh, C++ or C Sharp and all this, the object oriented programming languages. So if any language has these features, we call it as OOP. I had discussed this yesterday. All of you remember this, right? I didn't explain anything about these features, okay? I didn't explain anything. I told, I told, we will discuss this when we uh, discuss a topic called uh, object OOP. And we, we spent at least two weeks here 
uh, to understand the object oriented programming okay so we don't need to worry, worry about this part now this is something what we discuss uh, after when, when do we do this after finishing our functional python programming our core python so next an interpreted i told you yesterday what's an interpreted uh, pranav could you answer this an interpreted language is a language that converts hl to ml and vice versa line by line that's good it is executed by an interpreter right in, in a just a interpreted languages uses what they uses sir? they use interpreter to execute that program what you you know pranav and said is perfectly right so that is one thing next one other features of python it is easy do interpreted languages um, convert the whole code in one go no it doesn't convert the whole code in one go but it, it does it in line by line right it, it does it in line, line by line who, who is that last year is it last year uh yes sir yeah last year it, it does line by line last year it doesn't go for uh, in one go okay so that's that is done with compiler okay sir this compiler compiler do that execution of a program in one go or on fly but if it is interpreter you have thousand lines or ten thousand lines it will execute line by line that's why i, I think i didn't tell this point yesterday interpreter is a bit slow in execution compared to the compiler you understand that yes okay whereas uh, compiler is a bit faster than interpreter the difference is as we had just discussed compiler executes whole code at a time whereas the interpreter executes line by line that's the difference here okay 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 and uh, coming back to this about python it is very easy it's so easy it's easier than most of the existing languages that's one thing i can tell to all of you but it doesn't mean that uh, you should just only learn python suppose tomorrow if you should learn java you should be able to learn it means i told you yesterday again i am telling you today we learn python in such a way that if you learn python you should be able to do java also that's how you will be trained okay if you have a doubt on that statement once after doing some one week or two week sessions in python i will take one java program and i will quickly show you like you know how you, make you to just quickly work on that like to solve it and i will give a c program to solve it and c++ to solve it c sharp to solve it and a scala program to solve it after solving some four to five languages you find you, you observe one one common point one one connection one common connection between all this is all this follow the, fu the fundamentals are from c itself for all these languages so 70 to 80% of these languages have the same programming principles that's all. only that 20% or 30% change is there that you have to learn in other languages so that means it's not like when i say python is easy it doesn't mean that we cannot learn other languages but the point is uh, no the way this is designed the, the architectural design of this language is more comfortable but the fundamental the rule that programming rules are same for all languages almost okay so fine next one it's easy that is one thing second thing when you talk about python it is dynamically typed language what is that uh? it is dynamically typed what do you mean by dynamically typed uh, no folks means you don't need to use any data types no need to declare any data types here like for example let me just quickly start some python code here i'm using a python uh, command prompt now i will show you how to install everything you don't need to worry about it just observe observe i'll make you to install all softwares i will guide you through each step of uh, that installation process we will do all that okay so now 
I am opening a command prompt and here I am just logging to this Python. You don't need to understand anything. I will I will explain everything bit and piece. Okay, for now just observe. This is just to make you understand that one point here. What is that one point? Python is dynamically typed. In other languages, you need to use something called data types. But in Python, you don't need to use any data types. You don't need to declare data types otherwise. What is that? Let me just show you. You just see this like a, a school maths for you. I just declare a variable and assign some value and I print it. I got that. And I declare one more variable and assign a value and I print it. I got 20. And I add these two. Okay. I add these two. I get 30. Can you see this now? Do I use any data types here? Do I use any keywords like while declaring these variables? And to understand this code, do you need any any programming knowledge? Just tell. Okay. Yes, sir. We've used data types before in Java. Correct. But here, you know, you don't need to use anything like that. Can you see that? Yeah. Yeah. There, we don't have to declare like integer or anything. Correct. We don't need to use that int, float, or double, or char, or anything else. Can you see that? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay, um, Sandy, do you know all these? Uh, because uh, see, uh, Manohar, there are kids who know data types who doesn't know I mean data types. So maybe it's wise. I mean, it's good to introduce them. What is a data type? Maybe you should draw a parallel between actually uh, probably Telugu or English as a language to a Python as a language, right? That will bring them more understanding. Yeah, yeah, Vani, that's correct. The point is, uh, uh, the data type concept is there. Uh, I'm, I will introduce that at the right time. This is too early to talk about data types to them. Okay, uh, we will go with a proper order so that uh, uh, okay. definitely. That's why I made a point uh, in, when I am explaining this. Just remember, just uh, don't don't try to understand or don't uh, you don't need to worry about in that. Okay. I made that clearly. Okay. Sure. So definitely, if there is a time you know I will talk about everything in detail. But I'm, I'm just only talking about the features now. I'm just talking only about Python features. I, I didn't start language fundamentals. When I talk about language fundamentals, definitely I will show the difference, like you know how data types exist in other languages and uh, what what that what makes it simple in Python. We will do that comparison as well. That is also there. Okay, Vani. Okay, sir. Right. So. The point is there is something called data types might be that's what the point is uh, you know data type is something a keyword as i just told you to declare variables but here now look at this leave about that you know la, la, that keyword or uh, anything about that okay but here when you look at this code uh, no you be, assume that you don't know anything about programming by looking at this, do you need need to have any any programming background to understand this? Tell me. Do you need any just to initialize the variable and uh, do this a plus b? Do you need any background for this? No. So means it's very straightforward, right? You're straight away coming from a, a minimum school mathematic background is enough to understand this Python. You don't need to be even uh, you know graduates or post graduates to learn this Python. I told you yesterday as well. There is a sixth sixth standard uh, student in Hyderabad. She came to my session. She learned Python. She has done. She used to work on Kali Linux. She used to talk so too much in the class. Actually, very cute. Okay. So if she is able to do that, I don't think we anybody can do that. Got the point, right? So I think it's clear, right? Again, coming to this point, I will talk about it, guys. I told you a few things when I say just remember, remember it. Don't you don't need to worry about it. I will bring back that. So point is, you don't need to use data types here. But still, if you want to make a quick idea, as you know, Vani suggested, I will do one thing. In other languages, suppose if I want to do the same in Java, it, it, let me compare it with C because other languages follow the C, C style of programming. Suppose if I want to use the, if I want to do this in C, 
I have to do it like this. Just have a quick idea. Okay. First, I should declare variable. Suppose it is an integer, I should say it a. Then after that, I have to initialize it like this. Means what is that I should do now? In, in C language or CPP, Java, C sharp, or Scala, or, or uh, you know, or in all these languages, first I should declare variable like this with some data type. This is called data type, this keyword. Okay. Even that is there in, in even Python, I will introduce that to you people. But it worked, it, it is like this in other languages. First, I should do declaration and we have to put semicolon. But in Python code, can you see any colon here, semicolon at the end of this every instruction? Do you find any semicolon here? No, sir. Okay, what about others? Are you able to see any semicolon in Python? No. no but still it's work. Did I, did I did I get any error if I don't have semicolon? No. Means what? Means you don't need that that thing is not necessary. You don't need semicolon. You don't need data type. You just need to do this this part that's all. But in other languages, we need a type type inference is required. We need to use data type. We need to end every statement with semicolon. All that you have to do in other languages. But suppose if it is uh, Python, you see it by looking at the style of coding. Without any knowledge, you can quickly do a very basic program sum of two numbers. Okay, even I can make this program to be done by even a fourth student also. That's that's uh, that's that simple. This language is that is one thing. Okay, so means uh, you got some idea, right? Does this, does this give some quick idea? We don't need all this in Python, but you need that this 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 keyword here, which I declared here. Uh, what is that? Uh, which I declared here is called data type, guys. Is it clear now? Yeah. And that, we, that we don't need where? That we don't need in uh, Python. And that semicolons, you don't, you don't need to. In other languages, every statement has to be terminated with semicolon and it should be ended with semicolon. But in Python, you don't need to do that. It has its own type inference. We have something called in Python. What is that? Uh, type. Uh, inference type inference what it what it does it will take care of your uh, implicitly declaring data types it will take care of adding semicolons all that stuff or, or the syntactical related things it will take care of that so we can say that it, it is dynamically typed also it has what a type inference there so this is one more feature of python which other languages don't have okay that is one more thing third one i'm moving to the third one are you good till this till this uh, discussion? Are you fine now? Yeah, I'm basically fine, sir. Okay. What about Sandy? What about Shreya? What about I think two more people were there. I don't know the names. Lasia is one more, and the other name I don't know, guys. Uh, all of you are good now. Yeah, we're good, sir. Yes, sir, we're good. Okay. If you are bad at any stage, okay, you you quickly tell me. Okay, don't wait. So now, shall I, shall I ask a quick question? Sure, sir. Okay, yes sir, no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, fine. The question is something like this. After observing this, because I had discussed this, this one point uh, almost for 20 minutes or more than that. Now you tell me, what is that interesting thing you observe here in this discussion about Python? What is the interesting part you have observed here so far in this 20 minutes discussion? Um, we thought it was really interesting how the type it could just infer the type without declaring it. Okay. Yeah, and it's very it seems a lot easier than other languages to type it and you don't have to worry about semicolons and syntax as much. Correct. Correct. I found it really interesting because there's you don't need to use the data. It's not needed to use the data type. Okay, that's good. Okay. Also, when you look at this code, did I use any program structure here to declare this and run the statements? No, sir. No, sir. I'm just did I did I use any program structure here? No, all of you are saying no, right? 
means even that is also there. You can quickly test a Python code without any program structure. That is one more advantage. Okay, so no program structure is required. That is one more no. But this this happens in testing phase. Suppose when you go to a real time code, we give you some proper format will be there. Don't worry about it. Okay. So that is one more thing. Next after that. Uh, uh, apart from all this, there is one thing why you know many people use this Python is uh, it has a lot of libraries. What is that? It has a lot of libraries, lot of built in libraries. Okay, people say that there are more than 80,000 plus libraries in Python. How many are there? 80,000 plus and still counting. Okay, what is this libraries guys? What is what what this does here? What libraries are used for? And how it is helpful for us? Um, do the libraries have some pre programmed functions and things that you can use without having to code all of the new stuff yourself? Correct. So libraries are like, you know, it's like a, a ready made uh, cooked product. Suppose, you know, you eat pasta, right? Most of you have the habit of eating pasta or this uh, Maggie. No, I don't know whether they are available. You eat Maggie in uh, US or not? Yes, I'm not yes, sure. Yes, sir, we eat. Yeah. Okay, fine. It means, see, when I use that names, you are very active now. Eh? Everybody became alert. Yes, correct. So, what do you do with Maggie? Will, will you? Uh, did you prepare any Maggie there? I mean, are you are you preparing any of that noodles or you are just bringing opening that packet and just putting in water, hot water and just uh, you know, adding something and eating? What you are doing now? No, I we follow the I follow the instructions on the the what the Maggie packet and then make it correct. Yeah. But before that, that that Maggie whatever you, you you get it, it's a library. It means almost everything is there in the packet. And once you open that packet, you should know how to cook it. And after cooking, you should know how to eat it. it means sir. Uh, you are just following from step three, step three or step four, but the first of yeah, four steps, uh, all other steps are done by whom? Maggie people itself. They prepared Maggie. Okay, they developed it. They added some ingredients. They prepared some masala, everything. And then they finally packed it and gave it to you. Means many steps are done by themselves. And what you do, you you, you need to learn how to unpack it and then how to put it in hot water and how to eat it. Got it right? Means that's what libraries are that it's like pasta. Otherwise, everything is there in the packet. You have to open that and then you have to bring that pasta out and put it in some some bowl or something, cook it and eat it. Libraries are like a, a packed pasta or a packed Maggie. Just in, in simple terms. You got the point, right? Are you able to follow this? Yes. Means, yes. Means what point is, in this libraries, instead of pasta and uh, Maggie, you have built in functions. That functions make you to write, you know, you know, helps you to implement or develop your software without much efforts or without much hard work. You got the point, right? So libraries has what? The? Libraries has functions. Okay, what it has built in functions. And what is the advantage of functions? This is again, you know, just remember because now you 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 cannot jump jump to discuss everything now itself because if i do that uh, definitely you might feel heavy for you okay i don't want to make want to feel that now itself so few things when i say just remember just remember otherwise ignore it if you forget it also no problem okay so it has built-in functions the purpose of functions is functions are used to implement they are the purpose of functions is implement if you know to implement a functionality or you can call it as to carry out a logic a business logic okay to implement a functionality or a business logic just understand this because again functions we discuss at least for uh, uh, five to ten hours we'll concentrate on functions in in this python okay so don't worry about it but now it's a quick idea the libraries are something which is built in. It has a lot of functions and functions helps us to develop software 
fast it will helps us to develop something so your program faster and quicker and it is it is also going to reduce a lot of burden on you okay so that your job is just to focus on only the the core logic which you should implement rest of the thing is taken care by the libraries itself so that that makes your job easy you understand right like pass the best example because everything is there you no know, it's well prepared you just need to understand how to unpack it and how to uh, cook it that's all the rest of the process is done by the pasta people similarly in python also libraries are there everything is provided to you your job is just you need to know how to open that library and then how to use the functions that were there in the library that's all you can ask me how do i know that sir i don't know anything about like that will that comes with the learning and experience that's all it, it, it is not something we learn it in in one day itself we have to keep learning point by point and topic by topic that gives you more understanding but they are simple trust me it's so easy this is one more that's why you know why because of this library python is so popular guys you got it right if you name some area do you have any idea about any technologies guys answer this question meeku ee technologies idea unnaya pillalu sir can you clarify what you mean by technologies oh yeah can you oh very good okay technologies ante uh, like, you know technologies means something like data science something like big data something like uh, robotics something like web development do you have any idea about the, have you heard of such things yes yeah. so i and i've i've done some robotics data like science that. big data or you know let me keep adding okay and then uh, cloud computing okay cloud computing yeah i appreciate for asking this question cloud computing and uh, you can name few you tell me now i i have introduced few to you so yeah pranav did some robotics in java correct correct robotics very that's excellent robotics that is also a kind of technology next can you add few more you see you know e-commerce you know e-commerce means a uh, uh, web web development that is also a technology usually we do it with some html css all that next um some companies use big data to analyze like all of the large amounts of like numbers and data and stuff to analyze trends and patterns and stuff correct 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 excellent so this this is our technology okay uh, like you know data warehousing that is also a technology data warehousing have you ever heard of it and then sap sap is also a technology some of your parents might be doing this okay and java java is a technology. so these are all different technologies and languages as well of course now the point is uh, what is the point now i am talking about something so many technologies uses this python of course java don't use python that itself is a language okay so i am removing this to here but in all these areas you go to the data science people use python okay you go to big data people use python okay and then you go to cloud computing people use python for doing some certain kind of automation okay i'm just only giving you an idea a quick heads up here okay you go to robotics you told pranav implemented that with java robotics what do you say pranav yes sir but if you do the same with python you you find it more simpler okay what about pranav meer python to chest जावाइस i am saying java is bad i work with all the tech, all that languages in in our project okay i work with java i work with scala i work with python there is no other option for us but i am just telling you web uh, i have a question does are there can mobile apps also use python or no 
yeah nowadays you know python came to this area also people are using to develop some part of uh, mobile programming with python even for mobile apps people are using python In data warehousing oh, they use yeah. some python okay Thank so you. In, in all this area suppose you say something like devops now this is the recent technology happening in the industry there people use python and then you, you don't need to understand all these uh, you know rosy names ఇవన్నీ మీకు కొంచెం కొత్తగా ఉండొచ్చు అన్ని అనేది మాత్రం గుర్తు పెట్టుకోండి మీరు ఓకే artificial intelligence is it also considered a technology that, that's comes under data science artificial intelligence also comes with it's a branch of data science there currently we apply what python yes okay, okay. i will add it uh, just for make uh, making it clear even for artificial intelligence okay what do we use we can write code for that in python if you remember anything else you tell me there you can use python we build websites with python no yes nowadays the past 2 to 3 years sir, there is there are separate uh, libraries uh, introduced in python like uh, to develop websites something like flask something like uh, django they they introduce certain libraries sir. these helps us to develop web web applications like internet or e-commerce or you know something like that like websites or something all this kind of got it yes sir yes so sir. any question sandy i think uh, you need to ask few questions sandy well uh, yeah yeah i'm just still like thinking of any questions so do you have any questions or is there anyone with you yeah i have my dad here but i have no questions right now like i'm taking like notes in case anything is needed okay so please keep keep asking questions or keep answering okay that's good for both of us okay okay so uh, when you look at this you can see here right uh, the everybody is able to see python means you can understand the future of python suppose you are asking artificial intelligence deep learning machine learning that that's what they are all the, actually the part of you no know, they are subsets of data science okay uh, you know so everywhere we use this python libraries like there are so many libraries to implement okay and uh, as per our course we also do uh, the very important uh, python libraries like pandas which are used in data science rigorously okay i don't teach data science concepts but the fundamentals related to the data science we do here okay we do pandas and we do numpy and we do some as uh, you know your uh, auntie had asked me you know like you know like doing some data cleansing you know you have very large data sets how do you do that later data cleansing no all these are very interesting guys uh, kids okay when you start doing it and uh, when you start implementing this is more interesting and uh, you know it's curious and it's uh, involving so that's the advantage of you know python as well even you you have maths right in your school maths you can implement your school maths programs with python that makes more your 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 foundation very strong you know that's what i suggest to the learners now you have maths in your school itself take some problems and try to implement them in python that that gives more interest you can show to your friends as well hey i have implemented this in python see i wrote a code to solve our mathematical problem you can tell them like that you know that makes more interesting right Okay. Yes, sir. okay so maybe you can bring in when you are doing some problems you can bring in some some your uh, school pro math maths programs so that we can do in our python course okay that makes more interesting so are you good so far so i just only have introduced few things but still you understand the power of python now so why it's so popular because of one thing is libraries no doubt about that and then uh, it's very easy and also other features it's like it's like you know provides a multiple it has multiple style it supports one more important thing multiple programming styles what is that what do you mean by programming styles you know in programming as you are new to this let me give you a quick idea 
usually you can divide programming into two two styles we call one as functional programming i'll i'll just give you a quick idea on this and second one is called object oriented programming so these are the two fundamental styles we see in coding object oriented programming okay maybe if you ask anyhow we are going to learn about functional programming you can you you learn in python as well uh, if you if you want to get a, a deeper understanding you don't need to worry too much about that but these are two different styles here even op we discuss op in your python because we cover uh, functional programming in your python also we cover your uh, op in advanced python and uh, definitely we are going to cover in uh, advanced python just people divide it like this just to get a, a better picture of your syllabus that's all nothing more than that and also there is one more when we start uh, when we start uh, learning Python, like the coding part in Python, are we gonna like start from the basics, like Hello World or something, or uh, how yes. how did like put stuff? Or okay, you start from the very basic. Nobody knows needs to know anything. You come with uh, you know like a white paper in a in a book. Okay, definitely. Okay. You, so you don't need to have any knowledge, and uh, you you can feel you know that you don't know anything. Then I will try in from the very basic, okay? From A, B, C, D. I start with the A only. Earlier people used to say A for Apple. You can you can take for A for algebra or anything. We start with A only here, okay? So that's what I told you, right? Even though it looks easy, and I, when I am saying that it's a very a popular or, uh, and uh, people are feels it so interesting. One thing is when you are able to do Python, you should be able to do Java also, or you should be able to do C also. That's how you have to learn the language. Learn a language as a language. Then just don't yeah. think that it is easy, and don't only stick to Python. Tomorrow, some Python won't be the language in the industry. Sometime after two years or three years, there might be another language coming to the industry that might beat Python. Earlier Java is there. Now this Python had four. It has been more popular than Java. Got it right? Then tomorrow. Jaitan or Jaitan is there actually. Tomorrow some other programming language might come, and then you should not say that I am very much, uh, you know, adopted to Python. I just only do Python. You cannot say that. You should be dynamic. But it right. So doing coding also, the fundamentals of any language is same. The the language constructs are same. Only thing is you should need to know the difference. That I will show you. No need to worry about it. So point coming to answer Pranav's answer. Point is. Yes, as per now we do from the very core thing. You know, in the next coming two to three sessions, you see that. Okay, we do from very beginning. Everybody should be able to write code. I am not going to write code and show you. I'll give problems. You should solve problems in the class so that that's why I focus very clearly on the fundamental part. Keep in mind. Okay. Oh, no, 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 sir, question. 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 Yes, please. Uh, based, are we like? I, I was just like asking that question because I have s some knowledge of of the basics of Python. Just, just, just wanted to clarify that. Yeah, that's good. That's good to hear that. But you know, everybody has to be on the same page, right? Because uh, okay. of your yeah, of your cousins, you know, they they also should be on the same page, right? As you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So. Uh, let me bring everyone to the same page later on then you can perform uh, you know you can discuss among yourselves also and improve the that uh, uh, that ability okay now coming back it supports multiple programming styles guys like functional and op functional is more like you know uh, here uh, we use more like functions it depends more on functions okay it's like more like uh, a C programming. You know, when you talk about C, it's more like a functional. We don't have this object concept when you talk about functional programming. It supports you can write a code in Python purely in a functional way. Okay, where you, we use more of functions. Okay, and not anything else. We don't use OOP at all. You can try that kind of approach in Python. That is also possible in Python. Okay, that is one thing. Second thing is an OOP, object oriented programming means you can use something just only remember you don't need to understand everything here we use something called object and class kind of thing so op 
depend more on this like you know class and object and when you go there op we use a lot of classes and we implement some code in class and we create objects we do this sorts of things but this is too early to talk about it now because it is a very lengthy topic and it has so much of information to discuss so we'll keep it uh, we'll reserve it for the you know for some other time okay that's what so that just only understand okay python supports many styles of coding it supports functional core style and it supports op style and you'll you'll come to know about every style okay you don't need to think that okay i am missing op or i, I am i don't what is that functional no you don't need to think that because we are going to talk about everything in detail okay that is one more important thing but you got a quick idea right it supports multiple styles that is one thing next one also it has rich collections there is something called uh, okay uh, rich collections collections are very interesting one of my favorite topic in python is collections okay so if you certain collections and you, you know when you do the data analysis data processing in python or any kind of application you use in python it uses a lot of collections collections means as name says you know what is collection it's like uh, uh, you know you like a bag you can just take a quick example like a bag if, if you take a bag you put so many things in that bag okay books or you know pencils or you know erasers or sharpeners so many things you put it the collection is like that it holds uh, if it is bag it holds group of values uh, items sorry it, it has collection of items if it is a this one a, a, the python collection it is used to hold values different types of values okay we have so much of values in one one object that's what we call collection is and these are very much useful in in coding okay like it has certain collections like list okay there are so many things you don't need to understand again again i'm just only introducing them like you know titles in a movie or you know you don't need to understand the titles okay, you, you need to understand what's happening you know once the titles are done and you have to start observing from there, okay this is only just to get a quick understanding like how python is what are important topics in python so what kind of styles it has or why it is so popular why it is easy just to bring you all this okay like it has collections like list tuple dictionary and uh, uh, set okay, it has so many things like this etc got it right and when you go to advanced uh, libraries like pandas okay it uses something like data frames okay these are very much popular and sequences something like data frames or it uses something like sequence i don't exactly remember if this is correct like it's something comes with that okay and one more is there uh, okay oh one question are pandas data frames and sequence all are the are they also collections or no these are also collections okay oh, one okay. minute pandas thing just uh, let me just quickly just let me give a clear information if we, whenever you have such.c observe you, you you can do this okay uh, you can just say pandas uh, collections okay just google it so it has all this no doubt data frames are uh, the most important thing sir can choose any one of these uh, there are so many tutorials available i'll just introduce them as well because this this might be you you need to learn this as well pandas will help you a lot a series it's not uh, that's what it's series uh, and one is one more is panel but more than series and panel data frames are uh, very much popular okay it's not sequence we call it as what uh, we call it as series and the other one is panel so these are uh, you know the questions in uh, pandas and uh, most of the data processing we do with this and they are very useful for us okay not uh, the panel or series more than these two data frames are very much useful for us we'll talk about it we we'll go to that that area okay so that's it guys this is about uh, uh, the collection part and these are very helpful for us in doing uh, analysis data analysis as well as in developing any kind of automation or you know when you are uh, doing with any kind of uh, uh, data science related uh, applications this collections plays a very a phenomenal role that is very important okay, next one so 
it has again something called uh, so these are all the core important things about uh, python one more important thing i didn't introduce is uh, it's an open source yeah it's an open source okay guys uh, before going to talk about this point uh, you know sandy or uh, you know uh, sri or uh, you know somebody like glacia or pranav and more in here let me quickly ask you quick questions before i talk about what is open source so you tell me now okay what is the you have you have observed you know from since past uh, uh, minutes or more we, we are talking about uh, the python features by observing this tell me one important feature that makes python so popular now what is the 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 strength of python tell me where the exact strength of python is is going to answer Sandy, will you answer? I think it's the I think it's the, the simple like how simple it is and it uses uh, less data types. I think it's that. Okay, those are fine. But more than all that, no, the the strength of Python lies in its uh, dash. Python. Is it library? Perfect, perfect. Because of library, Sandy, you know. Because of that libraries, you know why people are uh, after data science people are after Python or artificial intelligence people are after Python, robotics people are after Python, AWS people are after Python means libraries. That is one of the most powerful strength of Python. Okay. That's okay. Then what kind of styles, you know, programming styles this Python has? Uh, anybody answer this question? Okay. Shreya, will you answer? Uh, it has the object oriented program programming and the functional programming style okay like, that's really excellent so still we didn't introduce that just remember okay what else uh, yeah oh, what about it has rich collections and different ways of dealing with large sets of data which makes it convenient for those different uses in the real world perfect perfect and what else uh, uh, no what what makes it more you know you have observed a couple of uh, practical scenarios today i just introduced few things and by looking at all this uh, you know what makes python interesting to you because does it looks really easy for you um you yeah know? it's really easy to use and you don't need to introduce like data types or have semicolons or worry about all those little parts of the syntax yes if you I ask one question, if you use data types will it be like a error or something yeah, data. You cannot use data types here, uh, Sandy. If you use that, that syntax is not there. Yes, definitely. If you use data type, it will give you error. Suppose if you want to check, suppose you say intake equal to ten. What what is it saying here, Sandy? Can you see it? Yeah, I can see it. What it saying? says a uh, syntax or invalid syntax. W what do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? It means like the it it just it I, I think it doesn't understand why there's an int integer over there like the yeah. word see the one point you have to understand sandy is that in programming there are rules when you do something you have to follow the rule means understanding rules of programming is important code anybody will do it don't think that coding is difficult but before that you should be clear with the rules are the fundamental then Anybody can write a code, got it right? So this is not allowed in Python. As per rule, you cannot declare data type with Python. Got it? Uh, okay. Yeah. Then. Any questions? Come on, guys. Questions? So it's an open source case. Open source means, you know, what is open source? Does it mean like you can upload stuff online for other people to use and that you can like import things from them as well? It's free of cost. You can uh, use the tools or you can use the libraries uh, without paying anything. You don't need to purchase licenses, all that. That's what we call open source, okay? And you can do the development without uh, having that uh, license purchasing, all that. Got it right. So that is also one more thing about Python. Okay. 
this will cover most of the core things you know in, in websites all that there will be so much of uh, you know nonsense but if you talk about python the very core things the very basic things you know why we you know python is so popular means uh, its libraries its collections uh, you know its type inference or its uh, no data type uh, thing or no structure okay and then also the the kind of uh, style it uses the very simple it's a like a loosey way of doing coding okay it's like lousy what we call it as a, otherwise i can just tell like this it's a lousy kind of a lousy way of doing coding like it, it's not like so you know elegant like uh, java or like you know or c c plus plus but it, it, it's in a very simple form so that's why this is uh, okay very easy and many people are implementing it okay so this this is about uh, the introduction uh, now i am switching to the language fundamentals and from here onwards uh, no, you are we are going to jump into the technical discussion and you need to get a, a clear understanding from here onwards whatever i have discussed only the important and features but now uh, the point is uh, you should be more focused from now onwards uh, and uh, you have to keep doing things from now onwards okay here i am going to give you the do i am going to do the comparative analysis with other languages as well from now onwards okay because as i am just focusing on just introducing python i didn't do any comparison but after that i will write a code in java or c whatever you want i can do it okay it's c or c plus plus or java or c sharp or scale okay i don't have c sharp software but we can do all with all other languages you know when i am saying so many things you know you can ask me a question now how am am i able to you know implement or learn so many languages now would you like to ask a question yeah do you, i'm just guessing like do you learn all these languages based on because all these languages have a like some some common um thing in them that like makes you learn it makes you be able to learn them or is okay. it like you yeah you know it's not like that you know if you just learn python it should not be like only python after some time i will just quickly explain some things in uh, c and ask you to write a code in c you should be able to do it then only you are learning it in the right way it's not like if you learn python you should leave others if you learn python you should that should be a strength to you to do coding in other languages as well okay does this python and just one more question does python and like other languages have like a common type with help you see, helps you like be able to learn them or no perfect perfect correct you know the fundamentals are same all same only changes happens from c to python or c++ to python or java to python or c sharp to python or scala to python is a only differences you find is they use data type this doesn't use data type they use oh. they use semicolon except these two differences okay. these two differences you don't find big difference between your uh, python coding and your other language codes okay i'm telling ex okay. ex experience okay i'm telling this with experience okay thank Got you it, right okay thank you sir any any others have questions regarding this friend no okay. we understand okay now we are going I uh, know into the actual learning pro program now. Variables. These are language fundamentals. Variables, keywords, okay, constants. And then uh, data types. This this basics are almost same. Almost all same for all languages. Maybe I will. Uh, you can open a C textbook, C P P textbook, a Java textbook, or a C sharp textbook and look at that. After doing all these fundamentals, you find that most of the things there are almost similar to this, except few differences. What is that? The way how data types are handled, the way how semicolons are handled, except that 80% of all these languages are almost same. Okay. Okay. Now, what is this variable? All of you know this. From here onwards, it will be more interesting, guys. You have more questions coming from my side. Okay, I keep asking so many questions, and you should be very alert. Okay, you should be concentrated. You should be focused. <clears throat> and if you are not going to answer, what I am going to do? I will repeat the topic again. Okay, 
that's it now what is this variable guys what do you think variables are all of you are uh, had done maths in school days right yes or no yes andaru school lo maths maths chesaru kada chesara leda yeah yeah chesam chesaru yeah chesam sir మీ మ్యాథ్స్ అనగానే మీకు గుర్తుకొచ్చేది ఏంటి ఏం గుర్తుకొస్తాయి మీకు వాట్ యు రిమెంబర్ వెన్ వెన్ ఇట్ ఇస్ మ్యాథ్స్ లైక్ ఆల్జెబ్రా ఆల్జెబ్రా ఆర్ ట్రిగ్నోమెట్రీ ఆర్ ఈవెన్ చాలా ఉన్నాయి మనకు అవన ఈ ఏమి ఫార్ములా ఉంది అనుకోండి ఇస్ ఎ ఫార్ములా అండ్ ఈవెన్ సాల్ ఫార్ములా ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ ఆ ఫార్ములా సాల్వ్ చేయాలంటే వాడు మనకి ఇన్పుట్స్ ఇవ్వాలి కదా yes sir yeah. అంటే వాడు అక్కడ మ్యాథ్స్ లో ఫస్ట్ మనం ఎప్పుడు యూస్ చేసేది ఏంటి వేరియబుల్స్ ఏ కదా సపోజ్ ఏ ప్లస్ బి హోల్ స్క్వేర్ ఉంది ఏ వాల్యూ బి వాల్యూ ఇస్తేనే కదా మనం సాల్వ్ చేయగలరు ఏ ప్లస్ బి హోల్ స్క్వేర్ ని యా ద వేరియబుల్స్ ఐ కెన్ సాల్వ్ యు సో వి కెన్ సాల్వ్ పర్ఫెక్ట్ కరెక్ట్ కరెక్ట్ అంటే ప్రోగ్రామింగ్ ఇస్ యాజ్ సింపుల్ యాజ్ దట్ ఓన్లీ నాట్ దట్ ఎక్స్పెక్ట్ ఆఫ్ మ్యాథ్స్ ఓకే వి కెన్ ఇంప్రూవ్ ఎ లాట్ విత్ ప్రోగ్రామింగ్ యువర్ లాజిక్ కెన్ ఇంప్రూవ్ ఎ లాట్ even if you are weak in maths also that is also possible okay so first thing variable is just you know, suppose i say a equal to 10 b equal to 20 i say a plus b now when i say a plus b what is your answer here ento ostundi akkada a plus b anam gaani ad 30 ostundi ad andaru cheptaru avuna kada second student kuda cheppestadu correct am man even a second student Like so, when I, when I ask this question, immediately, you told that it's 30, correct? Yeah. Then how yeah. do you know, how, do, what your mind what is your mind, what is the thought process behind this? Your mind is just in the... Basically... Yeah. How does, so in place of A, all of you have substituted in. In place of B, all of you have substituted 20, correct? And then I'm just in the... Ah. So a equals 10 out there and then b equals 20. Perfect. If you Perfect. hadn't given that, the answer would have just been a plus b. Correct. Correct. So, sir, you put me a big idea which is, and this ab, this ab is like Sandy, like Sriya, like Pranav, like Glacia. And it's like names. Manaki pairs are for now. Values should go to my own name pair list. We are providing names to values. That name, technically we call them as variables. అర్థమవుతుందా మన ప్రోగ్రామ్ లో ఉన్న వాల్యూస్ కి మనం ఒక పేరు పెట్టుకుంటున్నాం ఆ పేరు పెట్టే ఆ పెట్టే పేరునే మనం ఏమంటున్నాం వాట్ యు కాల్ దెమ్ యాస్ వేరియబుల్స్ అంటే దట్స్ ఆల్ వేరియబుల్ ఇస్ an identifier guys what's a variable is a identifier identifier yes that's all variable in a just in a single thing it is an identifier a of a value and that's a variable that's all guys that is one thing second thing what is the syntax how do you declare variables in python okay it's straight forward you don't have data types here you just say something like variable name equal to value no semicolon no data type got it for example i do i want to declare a variable now a you know something like a equal to that's all you should declare variables like this folks ela declare cheyala syntax em undadandi just a variable name em em name ivali em value ivali ante 10 validate anu 10.5 ayithe 10.5 or if it is some other uh, name like manohar i want to give manohar okay you know my name right a equal to మనం అర్థం లైక్ చేసుకోవచ్చు అర్థమవుతుందా దిస్ ఇస్ హౌ వి డిక్లేర్ వేరియబుల్స్ క్లియర్ 
Aku baca. Yes. You want a doubt, Sunaya? I know doubts. Thank you. Man, when you come under the class, lo, in tomorrow session, we will install software. What software? Python software. Python software install chesi, even in test chess could tell them. Mano starting in chess test chess them. Chepan gada, me class of miru once this training is completed, miru you should become independent and you should be able to solve some complex problems as well. And it's not like a course I pin on a to do good than matter. Miru, you have to be in a position to solve problems. Got it right? And five people are there, you are close relative, you know, cousins. This is an advantage for all of you. Miru, Agbutanga Mirdini Python build chess coach. In the in future, you know, there is data science. You can take some data science algorithm. All of you can discuss among uh, yourselves, like machine learning algorithm. And then you, you can, you know, all of you can solve it and you can discuss among yourselves. You can imagine how how you, you can do that. In the Baga Chase and you don't even imagine how you what you become on fine day. Miranda Ganitla. Our teamwork chess kogalite. Definitely, I, I can expect uh, you guys become the best programmers in, in that Silicon Valley. No doubt about that. Okay, so sorry, you could have just a variable value is the and then just you know, you say variable name equal to value ID. Other than you could see like the code island. I don't know, I'm doing comparison. And a Nenela Jephthana Pudu, as we are focusing on Python, it's easy and to none. When I go to C, I use the same statement for C also. C is very easy, I'll tell to the C people. Suppose when I when I do Java, I'll tell to Java people, Java is so easy. That's not that. Then the A language is the A language easy and Japan pillar get the point of view world okay, easy go to the bag chief and any call ka positive feeling create order. Then it is easy and at a Java customer garden. Don't think like that. When I say Python is easy. I'm not saying Java is difficult. Got it right? You should understand this point. Don't come to a conclusion if Python is a Java is difficult. And don't don't actually uh, you know have that kind of a mindset. Got it right? So that's the point. So now in programming, there are rules, guys. Yeah, yes, sir. First, you put it at the mind together, me and the key in the work, okay? Yes, sir. This is this is the first rule in, in, in Python. What is it? This is the first rule. Syntax means rule. Rule means you should blindly when you say rule, rule follow. is you have to follow it. If you don't follow, your, your interpreter will give left and right. But then follow the interpreter, you can do it. When you violate rules in coding, then you get errors. So if you don't want errors, follow the rules properly. So that is what you do in the beginning itself. And understanding syntax is nothing because that is fixed. Syntax is not a variable. Variable name equal to value. You have to memorize syntaxes. There is no shortcut for that. It's like memorizing. Got it right? That's it. So, if I compare this with the C to compare this, this variable in C to declare is the C syntax allowed to You don't need to see this. You can ignore. This is only just for uh, you know having some better understanding. Okay. You can ignore this part. Why I am explaining this means just to show the difference so that you get some idea. Okay, if it is C, it looks like this. If it is Python, it looks like this. So just to have that comparative analysis. If you are able to do this in Python, you can do it in C also. That is one more important. But here, the difference is what is the syntax here? Here in C, the syntax looks like this. Everything is same. You copy this. I'll just make it so simple, even if in C also. You put it here. What you do in C is R C plus plus R Java is before this, just add this data type. And at the end, uh, 
that's all that's what you do in c that's what you do in java that's what you do in c++ that's what you do in c sharp means what almost you see almost the the, the syntax is same if you get this part it is same only thing is i am adding a data type before that variable and then i am i am just including semicolon and an example suppose something like in x equal to 10 can you see this now now you find the difference right uh, sandy or pranav meek ippudu ardham avutundi the difference chusara c lo ite ila untadandi ante enti difference payi emanna pedda difference vachesindi ante em vachindi emi ledhu ee c lo or scheme oka data type padesamu aka data type avasaram ledhu ikkada oka semicolon pettali akkada avasaram ledhu ante otherwise ఆ రూల్ అంతా కూడా ఆల్మోస్ట్ సేమ్ అంతా కూడా సేమ్ ఉందా లేదా అండి ఉందా లేదా అంటే దాని అర్థమైంది ఇక్కడ అంటే మీరు పైతాన్ ఈజీ అన్నామని సి కష్టం కాదు పైతాన్ ఈజీ అయితే సి ఇంకా తొందరగా నేర్చుకోవచ్చు పైతాన్ బాగా వస్తే సీన్ ఇంకో ఇంకొక సపోజ్ యూ స్పెండ్ సమ్ ఫార్టీ ఫిఫ్టీ అవర్స్ ఆన్ పైతాన్ అండ్ యూ యూ నీట్ జస్ట్ స్పెండ్ ఓన్లీ సమ్ టెన్ టు ఫిఫ్టీన్ అవర్స్ ఆన్ సీ తో అప్ స్కిల్ టు సీ వాట్ ఇట్ రైట్ అక్కడ ఏమి లేదు అక్కడ డేటా టైప్ లు సెమికోలన్ ఉంది ఇక్కడ అవి లేవు పర్ఫెక్ట్ చూసావా అక్కడ అది ఉంది ఇక్కడ అది ఆ డిఫరెన్సెస్ చూస్తే మీకు అనిపిస్తది యు యు ఆల్ లాంగ్వేजेस సీమ్ సీమ్స్ టు బి సేమ్ ఫర్ యు బికాజ్ యు నో ఐ వర్క్ ఆన్ 3 లాంగ్వేजेस ఇన్ మై ప్రాజెక్ట్ నేను జావా మిస్ చేస్తాను స్కేలా మిస్ చేస్తాను పైథాన్ మిస్ చేస్తాను అన్ని బా చేస్తాను ఇది 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 సరిగ్గా చేయను ఇది చేస్తాను అని ఉండదు ఎందుకు చేస్తున్నా బికాస్ ఆఫ్టర్ 14 years what i understand is in training and 8 years in software i understand one thing what is that the fundamentals are same for all language you you prepare any biryani me biryani cheyadam vachu kada me andarki ante vachha ante na uddesham telusu kada chusuntaru kada biryani preparation avuna meer chicken biryani mutton biryani or egg biryani e biryani iskunna process ade kaakunda maare edendi chicken lo chicken estharu mutton lo mutton estharu egg lo egg estharu you got the point right ante enti the formula like process is same but there are some differences you you add or re, remove that's what but the way you make it is same languages are also same got it right so uh, today i will stop here because you no know, i have got it right shall we stop here or would you like to continue for some time ab tamma in kaasa chedama pillalu మీరు తెలుగు మాట్లాడితే కొద్దిగా విన్నాలని అనుకుంటున్నాను కెన్ యూ కెన్ యూ స్పీక్ ఇన్ తెలుగు మాట్లాడతారా వెరీ గుడ్ అదే ఒకసారి విన్నావని నీకు కూడా తెలుగు వచ్చు వెరీ నైస్ అందరికీ తెలుగు వచ్చు అయితే దాట్స్ రియలీ గుడ్ బట్ పర్లేదు నేను ఎక్కువ తెలుగు మాట్లాడను మోస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ది టైం ఇంగ్లీష్ లోనే అప్పుడప్పుడు మీకు జస్ట్ క్వశ్చన్స్ లేకుంటే ఏమన్నా చెప్పడానికి ఎలా తెలుగు వాడతాను ఓకే పర్లేదు నో ప్రాబ్లం సరే ఇక్కడ ఇంకొక లాస్ట్ టాపిక్ దీంట్లో చెప్పి వాళ్ళు ఆపేస్తాను రూల్స్ చూసారా రూల్స్ టు డిక్లేర్ వేరియబుల్ ఇన్ పైతాన్ ఇది బాగా నేర్చుకొని రేపు ఇంకా బాగుంటుంది మనకి సెషన్ ఇంకా ఇంట్రెస్టింగ్ ఉంటుంది ఎందుకంటే ఇంకా కోడింగ్ లోకి వెళ్ళిపోయామంటే ఇఫ్ యూ జస్ట్ స్టెప్ ఇన్ టు కోడింగ్ ఇట్ విల్ మోర్ ఇంట్రెస్టింగ్ డైస్ నాట్ జస్ట్ ఓన్లీ పైతాన్ ఇట్ మైట్ బి జావా ఇట్ మైట్ బి షీ షార్ప్ ఆర్ స్కేల కోడింగ్ ఈజ్ ఇంట్రెస్టింగ్ ఇఫ్ యూ యాస్ మీ నౌ ఇప్పుడు చూద్దాం రూల్ వన్ సి వెన్ ఎవర్ యు ఆర్ యూజింగ్ వేరియబుల్స్ లైక్ దిస్ ఇక్కడ చూడండి జస్ట్ అబ్జర్వ్ హియర్ this is just a, a module i am using just to clear my screen you can also use it as it is okay 
ఓకేనా స్క్రీన్ క్లియర్ చేయడానికి మీరు కూడా అలానే బ్లైండ్ వినిపిస్తుంది క్లియర్ మళ్ళీ చూసుకుందాం ఇప్పుడు అవసరం లేదు మీకు ఇప్పుడు చూడండి దిస్ ఇస్ ఫైన్ ఇఫ్ ఐ డిక్లేర్ లైక్ దిస్ యూ సి ఆర్ వెన్ ఐసే ఏ వన్ టూ త్రీ ఈక్వల్ టు టెన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో ఫైన్ బట్ వన్ టూ త్రీ ఏ ఈక్వల్ టు టెన్ ఎంటర్ వాట్ హ్యాపెన్ సో ద వేరియబుల్ క్యాన్ బి ఎ నంబర్ ఇట్స్ నాట్ లైక్ దట్ ఐ విల్ జస్ట్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ దిస్ దట్ ఫస్ట్ రూల్ రూల్ నంబర్ 1 a variable in python not just python this rule is common for almost all languages c c p p java c sharp i told you right language fundamentals are same almost one language has almost features of all other languages okay. a variable should start with a what ela start of all it should start with alphabet remember it has to start with alphabet or అండర్స్కోర్ ఇన్ స్కేల్ సారీ ఐఎమ్ సారీ ఇన్ ఫైవ్ కార్ ఓకే అంటే ఇక్కడ చూడండి అన్న ఎప్పుడు కూడా వేరియబుల్స్ ఇక్కడే కాదు ఏ లాంగ్వేజ్ లో అయినా ఈ రూల్స్ కామన్ సేమ్ కూడా ఇంచుమించు అవే ఉంటాయి ఆల్మోస్ట్ ది రూల్స్ ఆర్ సేమ్ ఇట్ షుడ్ స్టార్ట్ విత్ ఆల్ఫాబెట్ ఆర్ అండర్ స్కోర్ ఆఫ్టర్ దట్ యు నో దెన్ యూ కెన్ హ్యావ్ సమ్ నంబర్స్ యూ కెన్ యాడ్ సమ్ నంబర్స్ నో ఇష్యూస్ సో దెన్ వీ కెన్ హ్యావ్ సమ్ నంబర్స్ హ్యావ్ నంబర్స్ దట్ ఈస్ ఫైన్ Okay, this is rule one, rule two. No special symbols. Just observe rules first. No special symbols. Except, except what? What do you want to say? Do you want to say what? What symbol? Underscore. Ah, perfect. Except underscore. You should not use any other special symbol in variable. Are you, you not allowed to have periods either? Emma? Are you not allowed to have the period symbol in the name either? Ah, perfect. So, symbols are not allowed to use period. Except underscore, we should not use any math, any symbols. Question mark or equal, you know, we cannot use anything in variable, okay? Okay. That's no space. Are there any, are there any more type of errors? X, like, not, not just syntax, but like, is there any other? types any any uh, sandy cook sir cheppandi amma can you please come again um are there any other types like you know of errors like you know there's a syntax error and like that there's some there like other errors oh there are so many errors sandy you when you start doing coding you come across so many errors okay syntax errors are comes with the, the syntaxes or if you violate rules there will be logic errors okay sandy yes some, sometimes you do logic so your logic you might be wrong and you know if you when instead of doing addition best example you know you can understand this even though you don't have an idea in coding you you are you, your requirement is to do addition but by mistake you you have done minus you put a minus b instead of a plus b means what you get now suppose you, you should get some 30 as a output but you got uh, some 10 as a answer means what yeah. happened now sandy em ayindi ikkada logic error so, ante oi oh yeah okay logic error ante meeku you expect some some output but you get some other output meer edo anukuntaru kani vere edo vastundi adi logical error inkokka okay. run time error run time errors anta inkote enti a run time errors అట్లా త్రీ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎరర్స్ ఉంటాయి ఏ లాంగ్వేజ్ లో అయినా అంటే ఒక పైతాన్ లోనే కాదు యూ గో ఫర్ ఎనీ లాంగ్వేజ్ యూ యూ ఫైన్ త్రీ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎరర్స్ వాట్ ఈస్ దాట్ సింటాక్స్ ఎరర్స్ అంటే మీ స్టేట్ లో అట్ దిస్ స్టేజ్ నో మీరు అందరూ మోస్ట్ ఆఫ్ యూ విల్ డూ సింటాక్స్ ఎరర్స్ ఫస్ట్ సెకండ్ థింగ్ యూ డూ లాజికల్ ఎరర్స్ థర్డ్ యూ కమ్ అక్రాస్ రన్ టైమ్ ఎరర్స్ ఇన్ వెరీ ఫ్యూ సిచ్యువేషన్స్ ఓకే వెన్ యూ డూయింగ్ క్యాలిక్యులేషన్స్ ఈవెన్ ఇన్ దట్ క్యాలిక్యులేషన్స్ డూయింగ్ ఈవెన్ యూఆర్ నాట్ డూయింగ్ దట్ పర్ఫార్మింగ్ దట్ క్యాలిక్యులేషన్ ఇన్ ఎ రైట్ వే దెన్ యూ గెట్ రన్ టైమ్ ఎరర్స్ ఓకే and there is a topic called exception hand okay so that completely talks about this errors only adhu mothunda is it clear yeah it's clear thank you right so shall i talk about this now 
Yes. These are the three rules. No spaces in variables. For example, I will ask quick questions. Observing this, uh, you know, watching this uh, rules. Now, after observing this rules, now you tell me whether the variables I I I declare here are valid. Or not. Okay, no? Chapter one. If you declare just that, no. Then second, you have to see the rules. Prakaram of correct one I learn. Chapter one. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, so A B C. Okay, sir. Is it valid or invalid? Tell me. That's valid. Okay. But under Kaval and Sardaga chart box low answer. All of you can give me the answer. Okay, in the chart box. First valid or invalid? Say valid for valid. Invalid for invalid. Second one. Okay, sir. Okay. So up under Nato works to not to mean what chair the Apple Chapan that you are repetency. You all people have to keep working. So ABC space one two three. Is it valid or invalid? And tell me, tell me reason why it's invalid. If it is invalid, why it's invalid? Because it has space. It's because it's Sandy valid or not? Sandy, is it valid? Now invalid. Okay. Uh, it's invalid. Okay. One, two, because three, it's valid. ABC. One, two, three, ABC. Tell me, is it valid or it's valid? Yeah. Uh, it's invalid because there's a you can't have because first you have to have a an underscore or like a alphabet, but instead there's a numbers instead of alphabet or underscore. Perfect. Perfect. It's invalid. Very nice. Okay. A B C A B C dot one two three. Now. Um, no, no, because it has, it has a it. Invalid or valid? It's in invalid. Okay. Invalid. It can't have a any special symbol. Now this is valid. Now it's valid. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. This yeah. Yes. Yes. There's an underscore in it, and there's a, it starts with an alphabet. Yeah, correct. Perfect. Okay, next. Uh, only underscore. Valid. Uh, yeah, because yeah. it starts with an underscore. Okay. Just the A. You're the only ones typing. Yes, that's valid. Yeah. Underscore one, two, three. Valid or invalid? Valid. That's, uh, valid. Yeah, valid. valid. Are you sure? Yes, yep, sir. because it starts with an underscore. Yeah. See, that's what programming is. If you know the rule, you can enjoy coding. If you don't know the rule, then you, you, you have to scratch your head. The the just simplicity of programming lies in these in their syntaxes and rules itself. Understood now? Yes, understood. Thank you. Okay. That's all. There is nothing in coding here. Many people think that programming is tough. Okay. But studies, uh, programming is not tough, but you have to be good, be good with your basic. That is important. Okay. We good now? Yes. Thank you. Yeah. So today we stop here because uh, I have another session after this for an US uh, student. He's a he's a working guy. Okay, not like you. So stop here, huh? Okay. Yeah, thank, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay. Tomorrow. No, are you joining tomorrow? Yes. Yes, sir. Oh, at what, what time? Same time, 9.30? 9.30? Hmm. Uh, that won't work. 9.30 tomorrow won't work. Are you okay, okay at 9.30? No, 10.30 uh, is okay. Mom, Courtney, and let you know. To message you. Yes, all of you, all of you, you know, discuss among yourself and tell me one, one, one slot which is comfortable to you between. Uh, okay. Ten thirty is okay for me. Okay, okay sir. Uh, let's we'll sir, let's coordinate between the moms. We will co coordinate and make sure it's convenient for everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what. That's that's yeah. better. Right? Because we are in different different time zones, so. Correct, correct. No issue, at all. Uh, please yeah. take care of that. No problem. Just, just update me. Okay.
Okay, sir. Okay, we go. Okay, guys. Uh, good morning to all of you. Yes, good night. Okay, see you. <laughs> Bye. How late can you take the class in India time? Ma'am, what is that? Vani is talking, right? No, no, Vani's sister, Lakshmi. Um, how late can yeah. you take the class in India? Enter late that is Kogalutaru. You know, max up to 12 30 work and then I 12 30 work to hand it just then. No? Okay, until 11 30 to 12 30 slot. I never do okay. Na? Ah, actually, that's the man slot 11 to 12. Actually, the man on Japan on plan just kundi. Okay. Half an hour at least because I, I sleep a little late uh, around one hour like that, one one thirty. No issues. Okay, okay, okay. We will coordinate because memo Eastern time loan. Correct, and, correct. Okay, yeah. so we do coordinate with uh, Vani Tonu and Sandy's mom. So we can coordinate. Correct. I think actually one hour into one hour, one and a half hour. The coach is some at least extend out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We might spend more time as well. Yeah, yeah. Depending on what the topics, it may drag a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct. Yeah. Okay, thank okay. you. Thank you, guys. Thank okay. you. Have a good day. Yeah. Thank you. Good night. 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 Good